And they're off, and welcome. Today we are in a new live race coming live from Gloucestershire. We have the French Hussars battling it out to see who can win the Golden Globe, or the Golden Prize, or just the love of Tavington. And they're off to a strong start in the lead. We have, I have no idea who we have, but he's followed closely by Andrew Graham. Oh, Andrew Graham stalls on the jump, and now he is right behind. He is in third place, a strong third. Coming in second, Captain Hector McKay with his dashing moustache and his long nose. And in first place we have Peter Private Neil Miller. Oh, he's just dipped it into third now, getting stuck under the portcullises. What a shame. And they're running strong, they're coming up to the hurdle now. Oh, and the hurdle is cleared by Captain McKay. He is in a strong lead now. Got about a good one second lead. Coming up to the straight and narrow now going in nice and steady going through those gaps just like a lady's legs second Alexander McFarlane makes the jump perfectly now they're coming to the slalom through the spiked barricades the three forerunners having a strong lead we have Neil Miller just coming up in strong third can he make the jump and he clears it gracefully just like a swan but he stalls on the barricades and he's now battling third but he still grasps onto it, grasps onto it nice and strong. The battle is still raging on for first place. It's Captain McKay is holding a very, very strong lead, going through these slaloms just like a slippery snake. Followed in second by Alexander McFarlane, who is trying to keep up pace with the captain, but he's having hard times. Now in third place, we have a new third forerunner. It's Bend Over. One of the uh, one of the backrunners is now making a sprint to the first three. And it's brilliance. It's just absolute brilliance. He clears that swamp just like a swan. And he's now battling in second with Alexander McFarlane. If he makes these jumps, it's neck and neck. We're now at the third round of the first furlong, going into the second. And the captain is still on a strong lead. He's getting away from everybody. What a strong horse bred in Shropshire, I believe. One of the elder main, elder main breeds crossbred with a wild Fairfank and it's a quality horse that it's getting its worth it's proving its worth it's out there it's giving it his all and he just runs into a wall I like it he's, he's biding his time he's stalling he wants to give everybody false hope but it's just not working going back now we're on second and Alexander McFarlane in third we've got Bend over in fourth we have Evan Frazier fifth Ian Clark in sixth George Black, 7th, Neil Miller, 8th, Andrew Graham. And in ninth place, running right at the back. Keeps running into everything. It's Colonel James Stewart, the drunken sailor. What a shame. We had high hopes for our Colonel, but he's getting bested by his captain. And his captain, can he make the jump? He clears it gracefully, straight over there. Not a problem. That horse is clearly being paid for in blood, sweat and tears. Second place, we've got Evan McFarlane clearing those barricades ever so gracefully. Third place, Bend Over still battling to try and keep it. He's there, right behind him. Can't keep up, just can't make the cut. In fourth, we have Evan Frazier sporting his blue petticoat and ridiculous hat. In fifth, oh, new fifth, George Black. He's just, been over, he's just overtaken Ian Clark. What a shame. He's lost all hope now. He's gone. He's out of it. And in sixth, Andrew Graham in 7th, Neil Miller and 8th, Colonel James William Tavington. We're going to try and make our way back to the forerunners now, so just bear with me one second while I can get the uh, camera rolling. And it looks like we have our first, second and third. In first place we have Captain Hector McKay, second Alexander McFarlane and third Private Bendover. Bring it up into fourth. George Black in fifth, Ian Clark coming in sixth, strong sixth, Neil Miller, seventh place, Andrew Graham, and last but not least, when he decides to show his face on the final furlong, Colonel James Stewart. Here he is now in the distance, making his jumps. He looks devastated, his horse tired, his will crushed, and here he is, he crosses the line. 
for the raucous applause of everybody and brutally murders his rivals in glorious holy hand grenade style. And that was the first round of the Gloucestershire Downs. Here we are, live, on the scene, watching all it unfolds as everybody commits suicide. Join us in a moment now for round two, where we have the next set of runners. We have Alexander Stewart, our own beloved Alexander. We have Philly McFarlane, Sibon, Sibon, Jack Daniels, James Watson, the Portuguese fisherman, Ferdinand Young, Lister Bashnell, the Welshman, Jackie Chan, David Stewart, the German, Richard Nixon, the artillery, James Clark, and Jigstas, Adam Anderson. And here they are, lining up to the hockey now, getting into their stables, getting ready. The trumpet sounding for no apparent reason, because it's not a cavalry charge, it's a bloody horse race. And we have, presiding over the race, the ever-loved Corporal Mark Dawson, who will sound the race begins by lowering the stocks and letting them run. There he is now, ceremoniously opening the stocks to allow the horses and the riders to get ready for the second round of the Gloucestershire Downs. This race is brought to you by the 91st Algarge to Highlanders. If you've got a problem that you can't solve with brute force, call the Highlanders. A left face and charge is all that's needed. And the racers looking, looking like they're about to fly out of that, that stock. With sheer determination in each of the racers' eyes. The horses, fresh faced, ready for anything. The gate is lowered. Corporal Mark Dawson presiding will now announce to the racers what his intentions are. Or not, he just opens it and they're off. And again, we're in the second round of the Gloucestershire Downs here. And they're right over the hockey, and we begin. And in very, very close first place, it is, oh, it was Corporal Alexander Stewart makes the jump. Philly McFarlane slips to second. Corporal Richard Nixon going in first. And he's going to try and keep that lead. He's battling the Frenchman. The Frenchman is right behind him in his blue petticoat and ridiculous looking hat. I don't know what it is with the French with the ridiculous hats, but they are rather ridiculous. He makes it through all of the... All of the stocks, he goes through under, and under again, can he make it a third time? And he makes it a third. All the other racers are stalled, and it's given him a strong lead. Can he make the jump? He makes the jump, just catches his hooves on the barrier. In close second, it's Lister Bashnell, the Welshman. In third, who's just made the jump now, it's Alexander Stewart, our beloved fixture. In fourth, it's Philly McFarlane, the Frenchman. In fifth, James Clark. Sixth, Ferdinand Young. Seventh, Franciscus, James Watson, the Portuguese man, Jack Daniels, Adam Anderson, and bringing up the rear. I don't know if he is actually bringing up the rear. No, he's not. There's another racer that's just coming up to the jump now. He's a fair stretch behind. Don't know if this is a good tactic. It's David Stewart, the German. Oh, he's got a lot of work to make up now. And we're back with the forerunners again now. Lister Bashnell right behind Corporal Richard Nixon, the artillerist. He's keeping a strong lead. They keep buggering up on the slaloms. Close second, Philly McFarlane enters into the swamp. He's going to try and catch up with the forerunner, the artillerist, Richard Nixon. In third, Lister Bashnell, the Welshman. In fourth, our beloved Fix Joe, Alexander Stewart. No sign of any of the fifth. Just made it out of the swap now. In fifth place, we have Corporal James Clark in six. Private Jack Daniels. Seven, the Portuguese man. In eight, Adam Anderson. In ninth, Ferdinand Young. And bring it up. 
Number 10, Jackie Chan, the German, David Stewart. Mr. Bashnell, slipped down to third. Richard Nixon, keeping a very, very strong first position, battling it out with the Frenchman, Philian McFarlane. Interesting note about Philian McFarlane, he is actually French. It's not a ruse. His moustache is real, and his accent very thick and strong. He lives in France, not sure where. His horse is an equine breed, very thoroughbred. It allows him to slip into first place, and he makes the jump. The horse, showing its worth now, sprinting through the barricades, making easy, short work of this course. Followed closely in second by Richard Nixon, the artillerist, who was bullied out of first place by the Frenchman. In fifth place, in third place, not fifth, in third place, we have Mr. Bashnell, the Welshman. Fourth. Oh, there is a new fourth. It was James Clark, but it's now our beloved fixture, Alexander Stewart. In fifth, James Clark. In sixth, it was the Portuguese man. But now, it's Jack Daniels in 6th, Portuguese man in 7th, in 8th, Adam Anderson, in 9th, Ferdinand Young, and in 10th, David Stewart, our German, Jackie Chan. And the winners are across the line. It looks like it's Philly McFarlane, the Frenchman in 1st, followed by Corporal Richard Nixon, the, G the artillerist in 2nd, Lister Bachnell, the Welshman in 3rd. Big Joe, moonwalking across. Oh, in fourth and in fifth. James Clark. <clears throat> in sixth. Jack Daniels. In seventh place. Adam Anderson. In eighth. Oh, it's the German. Our Jackie. David Stewart. And in ninth. Ferdinand Young. And I lost a racer there. I have no idea what just happened in that round, but it was spectacular. The amount of sheer determination, blood, sweat and tears. And in 10th, Franciscus, the Portuguese man. What a shame for all the Portugal and all the people Franciscus let down. And the ceremonious suicide of all races. And here we have the six races. Sibon. Oh God, the Frenchman, the artillerist Richard Nixon, our captain Hector McKay, the Welshman Lister Bashnell, and Alexander McFarlane. And last but not least, Vendover. That's not an order, it's his name. Corporal Mark Dawson now ceremoniously opens the stocks to allow the racers to ready themselves. Lovely weather we're having today at the Gloucestershire Downs. Not a speck of rain in sight. The course is fresh. The grass is green, but not on the course. This course has been ran 612 times so far, and this is the 613th this year, the Gloucestershire Downs. This race is brought to you by the 91st Algasha Highlanders. You've got a problem that you can't solve for brute force, left face and charge. And they're off. Here we are on the third race today, the Gloucestershire Downs. Third race of the century. We're here we have over the hockey and it's Captain McKay. Strong lead, straight away. Rams the Frenchman straight into the barricade. Over the jump, as graceful as a swan. Second place, the Frenchman Philly McFarlane. In third, the artillerist Richard Nixon. Fourth, Alexander McFarlane. In fifth, Ben Dover. And in sixth, the Welshman, Mr. Bashnell. Captain McKay, straight through the archways. Very, very strong lead. Look at that. He's done this before. He's a natural. Up to the first jump. Clears it. Catches his hooves on the barrier. As does the new second, the artillerist Richard Nixon, in third, Villian, in fourth, Alexander McFarlane, fifth, Ben Nova, and in sixth, the Welshman, Bashnell.
trash now. <clears throat> Through the slaloms and the spike barricades now, and Hector McKay clears them oh so nicely. Can the captain make the jump? He goes, and he clears it. Beautiful. If horses could fly, this man would be the task of riding them. Ow. Flying horses. He should name us horse Pegasus. The, the jumps. Oh, he's fluffed it. He's fluffed it. And it's... The artillerist Richard Nixon in first now, blocking off everybody. Everybody trying to vie for the first place in these, on the slalom barricades, the spike barricades. Everyone getting blocked. It's a very, very close call. It's a close call. We've got Richard Nixon in second, Billy McFarlane. And in third, we have Alexander McFarlane. The two McFarlane twins trying to catch up to the artillerist. But it's not going to work. He's got a strong lead. He gets through the swamp. The swamp is cleared. Oh, he's catching up. The Frenchman, Billy McFarlane, right on his tail. The only time that I've seen a Frenchman actually want to go into a fight. Oh, oh, and Fillion steals first after the artillerist fluffs the jump. Fillion now strong first. He's over the hockey. The first lap is done, and he's he's in a very very big lead, followed closely by his brother Alexander McFarlane, followed by the artillerist Richard Nixon, by Ben Nova. Who else have we got? Who's this coming up now? And in last place, the Welshman Lister Bashnell, with his magnificent ginger beard and retarded looking face. And the Frenchman, Philippe McFarlane, c'est bon au garde, keeping a very, very strong first, going through the archways. It's like a slippery, slippery frog's leg, like they have in dear old France. Over the jump now. Looks like this race is won. Unless our, our oldie. Philly McFarlane doesn't cock up. Just as an hour update, we have Philly McFarlane in first, followed a close second by his brother Alexander McFarlane in third, our beloved captain Hector McKay in fifth, the artillerist Richard Nixon, and in sixth, Ben Nova. That doesn't make sense. In fifth, Ben Nova, and in sixth. It looks like he's cheating a bit there. Oh, he is as well. Points deducted for the Welshman, Mr. Bashnell, who's cutting the course, just like the cheating Welshman that he is. The Frenchman, Billy McFarlane, is not swayed by this cheater, as he has now been disqualified from the race, and he will not be counted in the final roll of honour, and he will not receive his Twix. This race is won. The day is won. A glorious victory for France, as Sibon, Fillion McFarlane, Très bien au garde, wins the race at the Gloucestershire Downs, followed in second by Alexander McFarlane, his younger brother, in third, our beloved captain, in fourth, the artillerist Richard Nixon, in sixth, not Bashnell, because he was disqualified, but in sixth, a bend over. A very, very strong finish. Look at him. Arms raised in victory that he actually managed to finish the race. This horse looks knackered. What an eventful day at the Gloucestershire Downs. Everything. I, I can't even put it into words. It's just too... It's, it's a thing of beauty. The determination... The passion that came out of these riders was fantastic. It's like nothing I've ever seen before. And here we go with Mark Dawson now. Rolling off the positions. And the victor, the spoils. I'd like to thank you for joining us at the Gloucestershire Downs, hosted by the 91st Algarsha Highlanders, we are openly recruiting www.91st.eu Please feel free to post an application on our forums. Don't hesitate to come say hi, jump in many of our glorious NW servers. We're always open, we're always accepting.
Ben Bove got Shannon! Jackie was disqualified. Uh, not Jackie, yes. Bashi was disqualified. And I was really oh disappointed with uh, with Tab and uh, in the first round there, and uh, Jackie in the second. That was terrible. Yeah, how did, did you get like stuck, Jackie, or what happened? I got blocked six times, Mesa. At least. I come up with nicknames for people as well. <laughs> what? Um. There was um, Philly McFarlane, which was uh, the Frenchman, or Sabon Old Guard. Uh, there was Jackie, uh, Jackie Chan, the German. Uh, James Watson, the Portuguese. <laughs> <which> was, <laughs> Alexander Stewart, our beloved fixture. <laughs> Richard Nixon, the artillerist. Um, what was I? You were, uh, you were our beloved Tavin Tavington. Oh. What you was were, I? You, or you were, you were her, Tavin Stein. Uh, you were, you were our captain. Sweet. Our captain, Hector, okay? <laughs> Creative. I'm at yeah. me, wild um, Bashi was uh, the Welshman. <laughs> Ow. Flying Welshman. Bendover was, um, is his name, not an order. Hmm? I'm, I'm freak. Yeah, but I just called you by your realism names. I was just like, he goes, and here, and here's Bendover. That's his name, not an order. <laughs> Women fight with swords, men oh, fight all... with cannons! Proc. God. Even I call Hex. Why does this always escalate so fast? Oh, Tav. I've also put a little hook at the end of the um, recording as well that I think you might like. Really? Yeah, I was just like. I was like, and um, here we go. Finishing the day at the Gloucester Downs. This event was brought to you by the 91st Argasha Highlanders. Recruiting now at www.91st.eu. And basically just through a nice recruitment. Iron Hammer! Women fight with swords, men fight with cannon! Give IEC some graphics, I guess. Oh wow, really? Would be awesome. No, no, really no, looking forward to the video. Stop, stop hitting me, Evan. I have something to do. Alright. Oh yeah, um, God. Fucking hell. Almost forgot. No, please don't have. <laughs> um, Swave. Oh. Oh, apparently, you. apparently your horse is a crossbreed. That's what made you win the first anyway, round. Anyway, I've got the nephew of it. Who's? Swede's horse was a crossbreed. I still claim the French is hacked. Yeah. The boat had white horses.